Greetings of the day. day. We Nathan Patpa of Class 6H, Ivan Jan 3D, bring before you the vision of our Reverend President Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. The vision of India 2030, where in every city of our country will be a clean, green, and a futuristic city. This is the need of the hour. Will bring about a clean and green environment for the country. The plantation on building walls helps in greening the area. The street lights and industrial area of this futuristic city has solar panels and creates a efficiency. The city also has urban forest which absorbs carbon emission. The hydroelectric power plant of the city generates electricity which helps in lighting up the building. You must not miss the recycling unit toilet here which processes and converts waste material can be used in a productive manner. Electric vehicles moving around the city are eco-friendly and help us reduce pollution. And of course, the solar power irrigation plant we have set up here helps in irrigating the fields with the use of solar energy. Instead of using non-renewable sources of energy like the fossil fuels. Here, the water is stored in the overhead tank, which is being pumped up through a solar controller, which is powered by the solar energy. Greetings of the day. I am Sanatan Sharia from Class Fourth G. Let us make a simple electroscope using static electricity and have some fun. The materials required are an electric wire, a glass jar, a cap, aluminium foil, soldering iron, a woolen glove, and a PVC pipe. Let's see the experiment. I'm sure you will enjoy it too. I am rubbing the PVC pipe for 30 seconds. Now I bring it near the electric wire exposed on both ends. Greetings of the day. 
I am Pratyusha Gan. I'm presenting before you a working model on physics of sound. I am going to bring one of the most powerful sounds in the universe. In our ancient Vedas, great sages have already emphasized the power of Om and its positive effects on different organs of our bodies when chanted properly. My model is based on the principle of sound propagations through vibrations. We have used a cladney plate, some amount of sand, a vibration generator and a signal generator. Now let us perform the experiment and see the patterns that are being formed on this metal sheet by the use of sound waves. The first type pattern I, the first frequency is 648 hertz. The next frequency is 773 hertz. You can see a very unique pattern is being formed. The next frequency is 858 hertz. In the same way, sound does magic in our bodies too. The goal of this science model was to show the vibrations made by sound waves while traveling through a medium and how these waves can impact the medium itself. Greetings of the day. I am Garanj Bhardwaj, student of class 7K. Today I am here to show you an innovation which you have never seen before. I am going to generate electricity. So for this innovation, I am using waste bottles, old CD, some nails fixed on the CD that forms the coil, wires, two motors and a fan. First of all, I will spin the coil and bring the magnet closer. Then the magnetic field pushes the CD and the coil starts spinning more faster. Hence, kinetic energy is produced and converted into electrical energy and the fan starts working. Thank you. Greetings of the day. Welcome to the world of science. I am your host Akshit Gupta from class 5K. And I am here to show my model which will leave you amazed. Science is the basis of development in any country. But for the magic to happen, we need to take it near the curious little minds. So I have designed a microscope using easily available materials like plastic waste, cardboard and newspaper. This microscope can be easily prepared at home and help us study these little organisms. Hmm, you seem to be confused at how paper Plastic and cardboard helps to see these little organisms. Let me show it to you. To view the microscopic object, we have to put the glass slide under the objective lens with a good source of light. The image will be visible by placing our eye on the eyepiece of the microscope. This is a microscopic image of the bacillus bacteria created by the sustainable model of a microscope. This microscope can be used in online teaching to show young children the amazing world of microscopes. Thank you. Greetings of the day. My name is Rikisha Sahai of Class 5K. Plastic waste mismanagement is a concern and needs to be addressed. Proper waste management helps in better disposal as well as Recovering the waste energy. This process is called energy recycling. In this model, we will see how waste energy is recycled. The process starts with collection of waste which is then sorted at the recycling station. Then the plastic goes through the process of burning. The energy generated by that is used to heat water which generates steam to power turbines and produce electricity. This electricity is then utilized. Along with electricity, the gaseous waste goes through a filtering process to remove pollutants. After that, these gases go to a heat exchanger 
where the waste energy is recovered. Finally, these gases are released in the atmosphere. Just like any other kind of recycling, the solid waste is disposed of at suitable places. This was a brief layout of how energy is generated from recycled material. Thank you. Greetings of the day. I am Rezal Taneja of Class 6th E. COVID-19 is just a name. Bye. And it is playing hide and seek game. We can ensure the end game by following rules. Come on, let's play the game. Hello, I am Happy Corona. But why happy? Let's see. Hello, I am your friend. Come play with me. Ah, now you are in my clutches. I will not spare you. You were not wearing mask. Oh, you were not, you were also not wearing mask. Oh, wow, you were not maintaining social distancing. Yay! Now let's come on the other side. Hello, I'm sad Corona. But why sad? Let's see. Hello, I'm your friend. Come play with me. Oh, why are you not coming to me? Please come to me. Oh, you are wearing mask. Having sanitizer. Having vaccines also. Now how will I survive? So friends, you see, if we will follow social distancing, use masks, sanitizer and wash hands regularly, so we will be happy and safe and Corona will be sad. So this was my magnetic game. Thank you. Greetings of the day. I am Jay from class 4. I, I am presenting before you a working model on satellite communication through satellite. Now we can track someone through GPS, get high speed internet, see the weather forecast. A country can contact with naval ships and fighter planes to protect the border. Satellite also helps in radio and signal transmission through which we can contact someone far away. I hope you understand how we can communicate with satellite. Salute to those who invented this. Have you Greetings of the day and hello my curious friends. I am your auto running biologist, a win boyal of last third J, and I have a very exciting concept to explain. This concept combines biology and physics and shows how our human body and senses have evolved. Today I will show you how a human ear works, how it converts sound vibration to electric signals. Look, I have created a working model to show this. An ear is a very sensitive organ that listens to vibrations and sound. And with the help of cheek bones, in our ears converts it into electric signal and sends it to brain using the nerves. In the brain, these signals are used to interpret them as sense of hearing. Here I am also using an outer ear, three bones, nerves, Brain. When I speak into the ear, the bones vibrate and generate a electric signal. This signal is then passed to this speaker where we all can hear it. So my intelligent mind, do you want to see how it works? Hello, are you curious? 
You can use any recording device to record the sound and play it back or attach it to any decoder and convert these electric signals to any format of output like high voltage and led which blinks as per the sound hope you like this replica of human ear and have learned how it works thank you we all know that the taj mahal is one of the wonders of the world but here we have only half of this beautiful monument where has the other half gone i can make this half monument into complete by placing a mirror here isn't it magical this is all possible because of a fascinating concept of symmetry present all around us i am kenisha of class 6 cambridge and today i am going to show you some examples of line symmetry that we observe in our daily lives let's take a look at this alphabet w spectacles and this beautiful butterfly all of them can be divided into two equal half through this one line of symmetry now let's take a look at this regular pentagon what do you think how many lines of symmetry does it have will it be vertical or horizontal let's count 1 2 3 4 and 5 this means that a regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry indeed symmetry makes the world around us more beautiful greetings of the day i vansh and i senya are here to show to you our cotton, cotton candy, candy maker cotton candy oh so sweet the kind of cotton you'd like to eat on a stick pink and blue cotton candy sticks like glue on your lips and on your cheeks cotton candy what a treat cotton candy yay i love eating cotton candy yum what a tasty treat they are but i wonder how they are made dear vendor do you mind showing me the working of the cotton candy maker sure why not come get your hands on this maker i will tell you how this works first of all pour sugar syrup into this bowl As you can see this this pins the melted sugar and squeezes it through tiny squeezes it through tiny holes by a centrifugal force then this sugar filaments quickly cool in the air and turn into thin threads yes then we collect these threads and i yummy delicious cotton candy is ready we hope you like the cotton candy maker thank you i am veronica jain from class 5g here i am presenting before you a project on yamuna cleaning we all want to live a luxurious life and in the race of a better living we have started exploiting resources and polluting water bodies with our day to day activities so we have designed a machine which can be installed at the bank of a river with which waste can be processed i am presenting a machine before you which has two sections in it which helps in removing the waste from the river the first section contains 
a rotor which moves in anti-clockwise direction. It collects the floating waste and push it to the conveyor, the second section. In the second section, the garbage gets collected over the conveyor by and can be processed further by the processes of compost making and landfills. Each time I want to divide and equally share the things that I have, two dots and a line will help my mind to avoid mistakes and always be fair. I am Dhanya Gupta from class 4D. Last week, it was my birthday and I wanted to divide some sweets equally among my friends. But do you know how could I do it? Through this amazing division machine that helped me in learning division so easily. Now let us see how this machine works by solving a problem. Our problem is 7 divided by 3. Now, I'm going to put the problem in the problem box. Our dividend is 7. So, I'm going to insert 7 sticks one by one in the dividend column. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and the last one, the seventh one. Our divisor is three. So I'm going to take out three sticks from the dividend column and put it in the first cup. Again, I'm going to take Take three sticks and put it in the second cup. Now, in the last only, one stick is left in the dividend column and a problem is solved. Our quotient is the number of cups filled with each stick that is two and our remainder is one which is left in the dividend column. So now, I'm going to put 2 in the quotient box and 1 in the remainder box. Likewise, I can try to, we can try to solve many other division sums also. Greetings, I am Molly Khanna of class 8K and this is my science model. It is a water wheel and it is one of the best innovations as it will help the rural people who walk far distances to fetch water. Many people still in India are using earthen pots, matkas to collect water and carry them on their heads and shoulders, which is a burden. Thus, this water wheel is, can be rolled along the way and there will be no subsequent burden on the head as well as on the shoulders. It is equipped with a rolling water container alongside two solar panels and a rotating fan. This rotating fan would relieve the villagers when they are finding water in the scorching heats of the summer. Also, this project will be very cost effective as well as eco-friendly because in villages it will be made from wood and also the fan will be running on solar power. This would subsequently decrease the burden on villagers as they go to collect water, thus creating a change in the world. Thank you. Hello friends, do you know who is the brain of all sciences? That it's maths. Numbers, numbers all around. Everywhere they can be found. Numbers tell how old I am and how many people in my fam. How much I weigh and just how tall. Where I live and that's not all.
numbers numbers part of me money time and history when to wake up and when to eat what i choose to buy for my feet how much money something cost a number to call if my dog gets lost i don't know where i would be if numbers are not part of me hello everyone i as a mathematician on behalf of the nursery wing here to make you as Lord, a good job of math around us. Math is everywhere. To just have to know where to look. Science, business, art, and nature all contain elements of math. So let's explore math magic with fun. Hello everyone. My name is Yamud Gul. Let's think out of a box. Today we will play tic tac toe. It is two two player game. It has nine boxes. It is two color bottle cap red and black. I use all waste material in this game. So let's start. Turn by turn. Red color, black color, red color, black color, red color, black color. Bingo! I won one point. I am a student of pre-primary. Can you hear some voice? Hmm, that is numbers voice. Let's see what they want to tell us. Numbers, numbers all around. Wherever we see, numbers can be found. So this is a weaver board. We can use multiple ways. So you want to learn sequence counting with me? Okay, come on. So take a thread, round up in one, round up in two, round up in three, round up in four, round up in five, round up in six. Round up in seven. Round up in eight. Round up in nine. Round up in ten. I hope you all enjoy sequence counting with me. My name is Renika. Hi, my name is Rian. Welcome to our science lab. Today we are going to discuss some interesting facts about water. We use water for bathing, washing clothes and utensils, watering plants, cooking, but most importantly for Drinking, filtering water is a common practice to clean water. Today, we will show you how we try to make a simple water filter to clean impurities, bacteria, or microorganisms that makes us ill by using simple materials at home. We have used a plastic bottle, cotton wool, 
cotton fabric, elastic band, sand, gravel and dirty muddy water. Let's start making our water filter now. First, cut off the top third portion of the plastic bottle using an elastic band to put a cotton cloth on the spout. Put the top part of the bottle upside down on the lower part of the bottle like this. Now add a layer of cotton, then a layer of sand, then a layer of gravel. Dirty water through the filter. What did we observe? The water looks much cleaner once it passes through the filter. Let me tell you why. The gravel first removes large particles from the dirty water. The gap between grains of sand removes the smaller dirt particles, cotton wool and finally the cotton fabric will remove even more dirt particles. Underground water is filtered in the same way since Clean water is very precious. So, save water. We are ninja. Fruit ninja. A ninja is a Japanese fighter. So, what are we fighting you? We are fighting all the evils that develop from eating excessive junk food. So, come join us in this quest of health. Slice fruits, avoid bombs, avoid range of plates and forks available at your disposal. Slice and create your own fruit salad by enjoying this incredibly action packed gaming experience. So, here we are with the Fruit Ninja game, made by my friend Yuvra Singer and me, Weber Singer. We have made this game on Scratch, which is a block coding language. We have used tools like pen. Sensing and forever loop. Let's play the game. This little flappy body has lost its way and could use your help finding direction. Use your sensational hand-eye coordination to guide her on her adventurous path as she tackles from unyielding pillars that restrain her from getting home. It sure seems like a strenuous task, but the Flappy Birds expedition added with our animation makes it a worthwhile experience. This little birdie will surely keep you hooked for a fun-filled, exhilarating journey through the pillars. So here we are, Aravan Shud. We have made this game on Scratch called Flappy Bird. Scratch is a visual programming language that helps students to create their own interactive stories, games and animations. We have used tools like motion, sensing, operators, variables, controls, events and leap block. So let's begin the game. Have you ever felt uncomfortable leaving your home alone? Do you or your family avoid going out because you're worried about no one guarding your precious home? Well, this ends now. With our latest invention, feel free to travel anywhere around the world without having to worry about the safety of your house. We bring to you our anti-theft system with the advanced PIR sensor. The components we have used are the PIR sensor. 
puzzle and some jumbo wires. Here we have used PIR sensors which are specifically designed to detect the objects by reading the infrared radiations. So if anyone tries to enter your house, our antenna system will detect it using its advanced technology and set off a burglar alarm alerting you and your neighbors. The bad guys better watch out. Our protector, the anti theft system, is in charge now. If you like economizing your expenses and maximizing your profits, then this stack level indicator is a definite requisite for you. It is a must for your industry, factory, and warehouse needs. As its name suggests, the stack level indicator sets off an alarm when your stacks of goods reach a dangerous height, risking harm or damage to the commodities. This device uses an ultrasonic sensor to alert you by glowing this red light when your stacks of goods cross the safe height, protecting them from being compressed one under the other. Components we have used are Arduino Uno, power bank, colored LEDs, resistor, ultrasonic sensor and some jumper wires. Let me show you the workings. If the stack boxes reach a height of 15 cm below the ultrasonic sensor, it will glow the red LED to alert us that the pile of boxes have reached their limit, after which if the boxes are stacked, they may damage the goods. I am a Varma and I am Sachin Srivastava from class 6. Maths is my favorite subject. Adri, I do love maths, but I always find dividing big smaller number with a bigger number quite difficult. My friend, I can divide it in just a blink of an eye. Come on, let me show you a magic trick of dividing any number by 5, 25 and 125. Give me any number. I give you 6. Now just watch how quickly I will divide. 6 divided by 5 by simply multiplying 6 by 2 that is 12 and putting the small point one digit from right that is 1.2 similarly I can find 6 divided by 25 by simply multiplying 6 by 4 that is 24 and putting the small point two, 2 digit from right that is 0.24. Likewise, the version of 6 divided by 125 will be 8 times the dividend, that is 48. And then just put a decimal point 3 digits from right, that is 0.048. Dear friend, we can apply this basic trick for dividing any number by 5, 25, and 125. Adri, now I will explain how we can multiply any number by series of 9s. Let me show you an example. 435 multiplied by 999 is equal to 434565. Five. Wow, you were so fast. How did you do that? It is amazing that I have calculated such tricky questions so quickly. I would like to tell that in Vedic maths, 10, 100, 1000 and so on are called base number. So let's take 5468 multiplied by 9999. The answer has two parts. For the first part, we will subtract 1 from 5468 which is equal to 5467. And for the second part, we will subtract 5468 from 10,000 by using sutra all from 9, last from 10, which means that the digit at worst place will be subtracted from 10 and rest of them from 9. So when I subtract 8 from 10, it is equal to 2, then 6 from 9, 3 and then 4 from 9, 5 and then 5 from 9, which is equal to 4. So the answer is 4532. Now we will write the answer of First part and second part together, which is equal to 5 crores 46 lakh 74,532. So, this is the product of 5468 
multiplied by 9999. Hope you like the trick and will use it to make your calculation faster. Thank you. I am Spriha Manjanda of class 5. Today I will present LCM and HCF calculator. This working model helps us to find out the LCM and HCF of numbers. Let's take an example and try to find out the LCM of three numbers, say 4, 5 and 10. To find out the LCM of 4, 5 and 10, let us find their multiples. The multiples are infinite. Here, I am using green bells for the multiples of 4, red bells for the multiples of 5 and silver bells for the multiples of 10. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 and many more. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and many more. The multiples of 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40 and many more. Now let us see which number has the maximum number of bells in it. The number which has the maximum number of bells in it is 20. Here we can see that 20 is a multiple of 4, 5 and 10. Hence the LCM or the lowest common multiple of 4, 5 and 10 is 20. A similar method can be used to find out the HCF of numbers. Let's take an example and try to find out the HCF of 3 numbers 6, 8 and 12. To find out the HCF of 6, 8 and 12, let us find their factors. The factors are finite. Here, I am using green bells for the factors of 6, red bells for the factors of 8 and silver bells for the factors of 12. The factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. The factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. The factors of 12 are 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now let us see which numbers have the maximum number of bells in them. The numbers which have the maximum number of bells in them are 1 and 2. Since 2 is the higher number, 2 will be our HCF. Here we can see that 2 is a factor of 6, 8 and 12. Hence the HCF of 6, 8 and 12 is 2. I am Vihan Gupta of class 3 and a math wizard. I am a warlock. I am the wonder of the age. You can call me a magician or a mage. I cast my super spell also. The day for any given date without using the calendar I can surely tell. Zoom berry, zoom berry, zoom berry pie. Look at the models that in front of you lie. Today I am going to present a model that will calculate the name of the day for any given date without looking at the calendar. Sounds interesting. Yes, it is. Don't you think so? So let's see how this works. Here we'll use some universal code tables for different days, months and centuries. So let's see my when will my birthday come. First, 
I'll write the date that is 24th. After that, I'll write the month code 0 for the month 0 for the month January. After that, I'll write the century code 6 for our year 2022. Next, I'll write the last two digits of our year 2022 that is 22. Now, I'll, write, I'll divide the value 22 by 4 and write the quotient here that is 5. At last, I'll add all these 5 values and take the sum that is 57. I'll divide the sum that is 57 by 7 and write the remainder here that is 1. I'll look for the remainder 1 in the day's code table. That shows the answer Sunday. Oh, so my next birthday will come on Sunday, 24th July 2022. So my next birthday will come on Sunday, 24th July 2022. I'll leave you the mighty magic spell. Zoomberry, zoomberry, zoomberry pie. Use the smart codes, then add, divide and multiply. This is sure a magic trick to tell a day in a click. Zoomberry, zoomberry, zoomberry pie. And here I just fly. I'm Kiran Kaur from Class 4 Cambridge. And I'm Chavi Rupai from Class 5 Cambridge. And today we are going to talk about Coronary Geometry. I wonder if this guy will land on the same place again. But how would I know for sure? If it landed on the same place again, I still don't need to record the exact position for it. But how? Hmm. I'll draw a line from the north wall to the south wall and then from left to right. Hmm. Let's check out the horizontal distance now. One, two. And let's check out the vertical distance now. One, two, three. This is how the coordinate geometry was discovered by the French philosopher and mathematician René Descartes. This region, the Cartesian plane, is divided into four quadrants by two axes perpendicular to each other. The point where the x-axis and the y-axis Intersect is known as origin. The first coordinate 2 tells the horizontal distance covered and the second coordinate 3 measure the vertical distance covered by the fly. When you place a document in a photocopy machine, the machine breaks the image in plenty of small points and forms x-axis and y-axis using the coordinates of the point. Like this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. When you place a document in a photocopy machine, the machine breaks the image in plenty of small points and forms x-axis and y-axis using the coordinates of the point. Like this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. It processes the information and then releases its hard copy. In the field of sports, in a football field, coordinate geometry helps the coach and the players to decide the position of players. Many more areas like Google Maps, science and technology, applications like Swiggy and Zomato works on the concept of coordinate geometry. I am Trisha Rora of Class 5 Cambridge and I am going to demonstrate different events happening around us on this probability scale. The probability scale starts with 0% chances of an event happening. Let's take an example for this. Just imagine you are walking to your friend's house and suddenly you see a dolphin riding a bicycle with your maths book in its mouth. Now, what are the chances or probability of that happening? Impossible, right? So, when there are no chances of an event happening, it is called impossible. Next, let's take these cards. What are the chances of getting a vowel 
from these five cards with an alphabet on each. What is the probability of picking a card with the vowel written on it? Mm, whichever card we pick, we are 100% sure that it will have a vowel on it. So, we say that it is certain. But what if an event is just as likely to happen as it not happen? Like the spinner. On spinning it, what are the chances of getting a 2D shape? Since there are equal number of 2D and 3D shape, so the chances of getting a 2D shape is equal to the chances of getting 3D shape. Hence, we say that it is equally likely and we keep it in the center of the scale. But if an event is not impossible but has very less chances of occurring like a dive. For example, what are the chances of getting two in a rolling dice? One out of six which is very less. So we say that it is unlikely to get two. Last but not the least, let's check out this jar with balls in it. What are the chances of getting a red ball? If I pick a ball randomly, so the chances of getting a red ball are very high. So we say that it is likely to get red ball out of it. Now we can say that probability is a very important thing that we can calculate in almost all the occasions. Greetings of the day! I will share with you something very interesting. Do you know? Long, long ago, humans lived in a cave to protect themselves from heat, cold, rain and animals. And as the time passed, they started modifying the homes according to the terrain of the place. Here you see, it is an igloo, a house made up of ice found in very, very cold region. There are houses with sloping roofs found in hilly areas. They are made like this so that water and snow slips down. In deserts, the people live nomadic lives, so they live in a house called caravan. There are floating houses, such fun! A house floating on water called houseboats. These are shepherds. You see, are tall buildings of apartments found on plain. So, did you enjoy? See different types of houses found in different parts of the world. Do share with me your type of house. I hope you enjoyed knowing more about houses. Thank you. Have a nice day. Greetings of the day. Today, I will take you to the magical magnetic world of animals. My magnetic dog works on a principle that opposite poles of the magnet attract each other. So let's have a look. Abracadabra, gili gili choo. Dear friend, tell me the baby of a cow. Yes, the baby of a cow is called a calf and it lives in a shed. Dear friend, Tell me the baby of a horse. Yes, the baby of a horse is called a foal and it lives in a stable. Dear friend, tell me the baby of a cat. Yes, the baby of a cat is called a kitten and it lives in a cat basket. Okay, okay, my friend. Now tell me the baby of a dog. 
Yes, the baby of a dog is called a puppy and it lives in a kennel. Now my friend, tell me the baby of a camel. Yes, the baby of a camel is called a baby camel. It is also called Kaas and it is also called the ship of desert and it lives in a desert. Okay, okay, my friend. Now tell me the baby of a deer. Yes, the baby of a deer is called a fawn and it lives in a forest. Now my friend, tell me the baby of a hippo. Yes, the baby of a hippo is called a calf and it lives in water. Now, my friend, tell me the baby of a lion. Yes, the baby of a lion is called a cub and it lives in a den. Thank you. As we come to the culmination of the unique side by, a true amalgamation of the creativity and imagination of the young students of KHMS who have put forth their ideas to innovate, comprehend and create on a single gigantic platform using science, maths and artificial intelligence. I, on behalf of the school, express deep gratitude for this amazing opportunity to our distinguished guests who joined us for this exhibition. Their thoughtful and interesting guidance is going to stand us in good stead. We thank our esteemed guests, guides and mentors. We express a deep sense of appreciation for our principal ma'am for her minute eye for detail and meticulous planning. We are deeply appreciative of every parent of the school, teachers and students without whom this endeavour would not have been possible. This teamwork has made SciPy a great success. We are very fortunate to have been backed by a wonderful team of administrative staff and a support staff team. We thank the technical team for being the backbone behind presenting this online event. Dear students, your wholehearted involvement is sure to reap rich benefits for you now and in the future too. Keep working hard and thank you to our wonderful audience for their overwhelming support. Thank you once again each and every one. Until we meet again, stay safe and keep smiling. Good day to all. <laughs>